Welcome back viewers for another episode of Aliens vs Redders. We're here today for a terror attack on South Africa. It's Operation Bleeding Grave. And this is the tank base, I believe. Quite a nasty little map. It's not actually a bad map to play on. But it can cause a few problems depending on when you, where you start. But anyway, let's go down there and save some civilians. Because that's what XCOM does best. Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. Alright, so, the tank base, we've arrived, and... Yeah, you can hear all the screaming in the background, you can hear... Or, just a lot of terror, uh, plasma shots, um... It's a pretty nasty scene. And for some reason, the Sky Ranger is all the way over there, while we are over here. That's alright, we must have like, I don't know, Skyranger landed over there, and I think what happened is that we snuck around over here through the back, and we basically climbed over this wall here. In fact, you can see here, there's like a little gap in the wall, we just climbed over the wall, jumped over the wall, and here we are. So, anyway, back to the map on hand, this is a terror attack. Um, this map, I think I'll paint you a brief picture before starting. So we got this building over here, it's a big warehouse, you got complete concealment from the outside on this side, and on this side as well, uh, this side has two holes in it, which is unfortunate. Uh, it's completely concealed on this side as well. So this building is quite nice. And straight up, what I think I'm going to do is basically move towards this building and try to use this building as a firebase. Um, beyond that, um, the rest of the map is dominated by this three, there's six tanks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you don't really want to get a fire around here if you can help it. The tanks themselves makes... Basically, the cover here is really awkward. It's really hard to get good flanks without getting flanked in return. It's kind of awkward to play here. And it's also a really huge area as well, so you got to watch out. Um, over here, you've got a whole bunch of trucks, high cover. Overall, the map has a lot of high cover, uh, some awkward cover as well. It's a pretty interesting map to play on. Anyway, as for the plan, like I said, I'm going to move towards the building. I can see some civilians over here, some civilians in the building. I think I'll try to move quickly to try to save as many civilians as possible, so I'll try to use this door as a breach. It's rather than going all the way around to get a nice breach on this door. Um, I might... I don't know though, there's like two civilians here. We kind of nicely grab these civilians as well. So what I might actually do is try to scan her to a left, to a right, and... Go from there. It's... It's a May terror attack, which means we can expect something like five pods of aliens. Um, so it's things like Thin Men. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Muton on the main terror attack before. So Thin Men, Seekers, and Chrysalids. Those are three th main things I'm expecting to see. Anyway, um, I guess enough talking. Let's get moving. Um, who do we have here? We have Mantle, the Engineer. We have Garbage Bag Trees, the Medic. I love Nox. Um, the Gunner. Boo's Boss Man, the Infantry. Shaiza, the Assault. Changing Runner. The Rocketeer and Trichy the Sniper. Okay, um, interesting team we have. We have Scanner, we have two Scanners, cool, an infantry and Gunner. Okay, Mantle, let's move up here first. It's a very, very big move. If I trigger on the left, I'm gonna have to move away from here, but if I don't, well, I can move everyone towards the store. Like I said, it's a really huge move, it's kind of risky, but still. No trigger, we'll open it all next turn. Basically, being a terror attack, we want to try to save as many civilians as possible to uh, minimize the panic increase. And because of that, we're going to have to move quickly to save them. Okay, now I can chuck a scanner to my... That's a really short range scanner. This is going to reveal anything, is it? I'm not really impressed by a scanner. Like, I could chuck it here, but really, what's it going to tell me? Risky nothing. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I might hold off on that scanner instead. The statue up. On the move. Um. Statue up. Right, one tile. Just why not? Scanning the vehicle. 
Okay. Get this building. Go from there. Yep, didn't mean. Chrysalids, expected. We've got plenty of things to deal with chrysalids. We've got AP grenades, we got a rocket. Well, normal rocket at least. Floaters. Not too surprising. Okay, let's open this door. Okay, looks pretty clear. And if it remains clear, I can actually rescue all of the civilians here, which is quite kind of nice. Affirmative. Enemy spotted. Don't worry, you're safe. Um, about a clear part. Hmm. And this is the part where I regret on bringing a scout. Okay, this is interesting. What do I do about that float over there? Can I possibly see him from here? Roger, tracking. Of course I wouldn't be able to. That would be asking too much, wouldn't it? Why can't I see him? So it might be a bad question. And how far away is he? Um, okay, let's see. One, two, three. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So you're telling me? Oh wow, this is terrible. This is pretty awkward. This is incredibly awkward. Okay, for some reason I can't see him in the doorway. I don't know why, and I really, really regret not bringing a scout. I can use a smoke grenade as a poor man's scouting tool, but really I don't want to do it if I can help it. And Manto, I should have moved you like here or something. Um, okay, this is pretty awkward. And I have a float on the outside as well. That's not good. If I move here, I'm almost certain I'll be overwatched. And I don't think any of you have the armor to survive a hit on Overwatch. Which is really unfortunate. What I can potentially do is smoke grenade and then dash to assault, run gun. That I might have to do. Okay, let's put smoke grenade here. Um, um, yep, right there. Is it a risk? Yes. But I feel I have to do this. So, Shaiza, run gun. And let's run your gun all the way up to here. I want to get a flank as well, though, so I think it has to be over here. Yep, yeah, statue all the way up to here. Wow. What happened to my smoke? Okay, that's pretty odd. I'm not sure what's going on there. But apparently, that f f floater can't actually see around here where my smoke is. I am beyond confused. Still, let's kill this floater. Good damage. That uh, target module is really helping out. Okay, hopefully, I can suppress him somewhere. It's actually looking like the only place I can suppress him from is by staying in the open. I don't like the idea of that. Because this position is flanked. I can't see him from here. In fact, I'm not even sure if I can suppress him from here. Rolling. Wow, this is just awkward as hell. Line of sight. Every day. Every single day. Wow, what can I do against him? Not much, really. I can't flashbang him. I can't keep metal here. He's just standing... I'm sure he's got smoke and all, but it's not going to save him, except maybe if I chuck an AP grenade, wound him enough, the other floater. I mean, the smoke here is only, it's, it's only slightly worse than half cover. It's 20 defense. It's pretty bad, but I mean, what am I, what, what I going to do here? This is just awkward. I need to watch out, though, that there's one more floater on the outside. He could come in and, I don't know, pull a weird flank off against me. Um... This whole situation is bad. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm on it, Commander. Okay. Let's get everyone indoors. Um, Twitchy, you have low profile. Let's run you here. Yes, come on. Let's move a rocket to here. And steady your rocket. And you. 
You actually have one of my highest health troops. In fact, you are my toughest troop uh, next to the Rocketeer. So, let's try to use Red Fog here. I mean, Red Fog plus a smoke grenade. It's dangerous, but... I mean, either way, there's... If I don't do this, the, the floater can just get a very good shot against uh, Salt. Let's just go straight for damage here. I think it might be safer. Rest in pieces. It's not really a good choice either way, in my opinion. Okay, he's slightly wounded. It's gonna have to do. Okay, him in. Red fog plus smoke. Good. He doesn't have high advantage, he can't really get high advantage here. And that's what I was, what I was worried about. Civilian deaths. Nothing I can do about them. And if I can. Yeah, that's not good. Door smashing open. I think we have chrysalids inside this room. That's the only doors on this map is inside this building. We have chrysalids incoming. That's not good. And still. What's with the live silent here? I don't get it. Okay, Manto. Getting it done. We've got company. Oh wow. Yeah, go. They were closer than I thought. Hi. Chrysalids. You're not welcome. Okay, rocket. Oh no, I don't have a shred rocket. I don't have a shred rocket. What I do have is AP grenade. This looks stupid. Honestly, I think it does look pretty stupid. But this might be one of the easiest ways to eliminate these floaters. Um, chrysalids. Good. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That looks completely stupid. But, hey, whatever works, right? Whatever works. So I can say. That's weird. This door opened. How are the crystals over here? I'm confused. I was expecting the crystals to be on the other side, unless something else is in here. That could be interesting. Not. Okay, I want to save this civilian. But if I save the civilian, I can't really do damage because you have a marksman rifle. Okay, I can potentially suppress that floater, maybe, if I can move into a place I can see him. Like your position here, Shaiza. The. Uh, Let's say I move you over here. Heading there now. Go, get out Go. of here. Let's kill you. Good. Um now I need to kill this. Okay, I know this person can see the floater for sure. So that's probably a good place to suppress the floater from. Let's move you here. Which means I can move you up to shoot this chrysalid. Who's boss man? Naturally, it's a miss. Um, okay, Twitchy isn't going to be killing the chrysalid, most likely. Instead, I want you to be able to shoot a floater somehow. How? How can I see the floater? Where can I see the floater from? Um, this is one of the weirdest. Okay. This is flanked, so I'm gonna bet that this place can see the floater. Getting it done. Yep. Okay, that's good. But we need to make sure this crystal dies. 95, come on. Good. Okay, and I can just suppress first, ask questions later. I have the ammo, and it's probably a good idea right now. I mean, I could have taken a shot and hit. Okay, now I'll, uh, I'll shoot you with the sniper. I mean, here's the thing: I, if I took the shot and a missed, and Tucci took a shot and also missed, that floater would be able to easily flank um, while Tucci, if nothing else. I don't like the idea of that. So I'm gonna try to have him suppress this way if Tucci misses. Well, oh well, you know. And this way also as well, Tucci gets whole targeting. At least this what I was thinking. Tucci. That's fine. But like I said, the worst case is, you know, both of them have Twitchy missed. And after and I I have Nox also missed as well, that would be pretty bad. Okay now this float on the right. 
What can I do about him? Nothing. Stay a rocket. Still, that second pod contact. Okay, I have a zombie behind me. Interesting. And I can't see a zombie. That's not good. I still have a floater outside, somewhere. Okay, what to do about a zombie? Um, I know he's like right over here somewhere. You see a rocket seems overkill, but I don't want to pull extra pods. I should be able to see a zombie from here. I should. Who else can I see a zombie? Shaiza maybe? So let's move you here. Hello. While I move to tree here, I was meaning to move garbage back trees. Whoops. Well that was stupid. And there's still a floater outside. Okay, he can't actually get me from here. So don't we and he can't actually get me from here either. He can go all the way around here maybe. Maybe. Okay, Twitchy, you need to move back here, so I think Shaiza needs to move over here. I'm on the move. Take a shot, 100%. Not exactly what I call good damage. Garbage back trees. Garbage. That's better. Okay, Twitchy, let's stash you up. Back over here. Try to use low profile as much as possible. And here, I think I'll just move towards his entrance. Let's do this. Again, my left flank is most secure unless I float like I don't know, dashes right into the room here. In which case Well, I got lots I got lots of problems if he just dashed into the room because these two will be completely exposed. Um Okay. I don't want that. So, is Overwatch for that floater? I hit movement to my left. I don't think there's any more crystals on the map. Never mind. I lied. There's more crystals on the map. Hello. Naturally, no. I say it's no more crystals, and there are more crystals. More Overwatch. At least someone, someone hit. Hey, someone did hit. Great. More movement to my left. I think it's civilian movement though. Now, unfortunately, all my shotguns are quite far away. Hmm. I can move here at least. Okay, I can't see from here. Isn't that brilliant? I can potentially open myself. Um, I can open this entire area up if I need to. Like, um this. Do I need to though? I mean I got infantry of one shot. I have knocks of one shot. I have a rocket here. Maybe I should open it up just to be on the safe side. Where is the assault? Okay I have one shotgun. One assault rifle. That's two shots. I can get three shotguns. Um. Sniper can potentially move over here to get a decent shot of the marksman rifle. I just don't feel like I got control here. This is this seems a little too risky here. And the gunner is okay, the gunner's not actually trapped. Good. Okay, I want to I want to throw an HE grenade. So I love Nox, move over. Manto, you can stay there. In fact, you can actually move back over here. Moving. And you can throw an HE grenade. I'm pretty sure I've saved a civilian, so it should be fine. Um, let's throw here. Okay, and and what I also did is put this crystal in pistol range for boost boss man. So that's good. 
So let's actually shoot a wooden floater. Uh, not floater, chrysalid. 99%. Okay. Shoot you a pistol. 90%. Good. Excellent. Um, what next? You still can't see. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's move you closer. And I want you to hold target the back uh, chrysalid. Okay. Um, you can have a running gun that I have back chrysalid. Maybe from here. Hundred percent. Good. Who's left? Still plenty of people. Um, Twitchy can actually kill this. Let's give it a trade runner. Yeah. Um, okay. That's good so far. Let's move you up. He goes back trees. I still don't know where Frodo went. It's kind of annoying. And also, note this. This civilian who bugged out, she's, she, I re rescued her. She was meant to run away, but she decided to stay here. And she was right in the middle of the blast zone, and she didn't even get hurt. Is that funny? Okay, and uh, the floater, where could you be? Where could you be? You com you've completely disappeared off the radar. That's annoying. Getting it done. There's not much I can do about that. Okay, boost. But for now, let's just reload everybody. Um, move you over here. Um, hmm. I'm still kind of worried that Flood is bursting through his door. But again, there really isn't anything I can do about it if it happens. Okay, I can at least reload you. I can move you over here. Reload you over here. Garbage bag trees. I could probably go rescue these civilians, except the store's open. If the store wasn't open, I could safely just move in. As it is, it's a little bit dangerous. Move you over here next to engineer. And Twitchy, just move. Let's. Let's. I don't know, let's move you here. Okay, Flona, where are you? Oh, no. This could be bad. All the way to my. behind me? Maybe it's on the roof? I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, let's open this door. Okay, let's rescue some civilians. So let's rescue you. Moving out. You're good to go. Now move. Mm -hmm. Rescue you. And I'm thinking let's focus on getting a breach of this door. Um, because once my right back is secure, I can move everyone to my front and work on that. So. Shaiza. I'm, I'm scared Flo is gonna jump out jump out of the roof or something. Um Let's run you back in. Twitchy with my infantry. Boost man. Let's move you let's actually move you out over here. Gunner. Um Move up to here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Got it covered. I've lost my eye. Cargado y listo. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Float is still over there somewhere. You hear that? Okay, here's my thought. He's at the closest, and he's this direction. He's either on the roof, like right over here, or he's right outside. Which means I don't think there's anything on my right flank. I suspect. Hmm. I 
part of Twitchy moving her over here. Or I can just open the door here. Let's open the door here. Okay. I think I can move Twitchy up to here. Rescue civilian. Good. And now I think I can try to console my, my position by moving up to these doors here. Um, can you have a peek into this room for me, please? This is the only entrance the flow can use to get in. Okay, since that's clear, what I can do is move people up to this door. Nothing else. Garbage. Let's move you here. Uh, Manto, stash up. Moving out. This whole position is just weird. <laughs> this floater that is. Okay. Then we're closer to me than the floater is. That's interesting. Okay, maybe I won't rescue these uh, three civilians quite yet. I'm thinking, let's get a proper breach of the store. Infantry, move here. Okay, steady. Sniper. I can move you up, I might keep you on his flank. Uh, Manto can dash up to here. Okay, and you two shotgunners can stay at the door. My left. I suspect that the main part might be the last part. Not kind of floater. Still, I waste too many. Okay, it's to my left now. Shut up. Let's open this door. I have a rocket steady. I have. Hi. It's a floater. I see a floater. He's not overwatching. I can get hot rocketing on him. No, not really. I, mean, I can move here, and that should be able to see him, but then I'll also be flanking myself. Can't move there. Um, you can't see him. Can you flank me? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, he, he can totally flank me. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, I'm low scale moving you up as well because there's Simmons somewhere on the map. I much rather not trigger them yet. Okay, let's take one shot at you. And I think you can move, move over. I'm on it, Commander. Suppress. Okay, um, who else can potentially get shots here? I got too many shotguns. Which is funny, I don't usually say that. Okay, let's move you back here. And move you into the building. Again, um, over here. I don't want to move this way because I could trigger by moving, by walking around this, um, these barrels over here. Move you over here next turn, I can actually just get a close range shotgun. Time. You can hear footsteps. So probably a Oh, hello sneakers. Oh, okay, just just civilian. Just a civilian. <laughs> okay, this is kind of annoying. They actually spread out a lot. Um, what can I do here? I can... Where is that floater? Hmm, he's flying in position. I don't think I can actually... Yeah, this rocket isn't going to be that great. 
Do I have another bow scanner? I have one more bow scanner. There you go, invisible. Um, I can try to get a pretty good shotgun shot against that floater. But I, potentially. But what about all these seekers? I could try to go for this rocket. Like, if it doesn't scan her at all, that should do decent damage to both seekers. Because I have heat ammo, uh, heat warheads. That's actually quite interesting looking uh, rocket there. I'm tempted to take that rocket. I'm surprised it can actually do this. Um, you know what? It's a strange rocket, let's try it. Kill civilian. Oh well. Oh well. Um, hmm. Where's Twitchy? What can you possibly see about moving up to here? Yes, Commander. Nothing. Great. Statue up. I move you here. Do I risk activating something? I don't know. Where's the infantry? Boost boss man, can you... Mm. Should be able to see something from here. Okay, you can see a floater, so let's actually suppress that floater again. Whoops! That was a seeker. Um, okay, that's annoying. Shoot a floater, isn't Expected. Guess what I can do now? I don't want I don't I don't want to move out because I don't want to trigger a third man by accident. So if they decide to assault me, three shotgun over watches at close range. I think the third man to my right. Okay, stealth. I do have bow cannons, that's fine. Annoying, but it's fine. Four stealth. And you stood still. Okay. Let's take one shot at the floater. Good. And let's check a bow scanner out there. Um, let's do here. Hello. Well. Let's use some heat ammo. 84%. Very nice. I do have a missing seeker though. He could be on Overwatch. I think the Thimmer to my right, so this should be a safe move though. Should trigger anything new. I can make it a much better shot by running gunning. Is a shotgun likely to kill a seeker in one shot? Probably not. This is kind of a risky thing, isn't it? Twitchy, can you possibly get loud on that? Um, probably not. As because I think it's Dimina over here, I probably don't want to go into this room as well. Okay, what can you see from here? On it. Nothing. I don't think I want to take the shot. I'm on it, Commander. Not without any backup. Not without backup. Hello, Seeker. Decent. What are you doing? Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay. I can respect that. What happened to your cover, Twitchy? I think that stray secret shot actually took out your cover. Wow, that's fascinating. Okay, um, this is flanked. 
but I can't see him from here, so I suspect if I move up to here, I should be able to see him. Nope. Line of sight. Line of sight. Um. Okay, honestly here, I just want to get this engagement over with. So, I'm tempted to use this rocket, blow up this seeker, or one of the seekers at least, and just shoot the other one. Let's blow up the full health seeker. It's probably the easiest thing to do here. Okay, you fail there as well. Um, unfortunate. Okay, I can take a shot at... Doesn't matter, one of you. I'm out of firepower over here. Mm. That's a load of bull. Okay, reload. This is a pretty annoying firefight. I have to say. Um Heading out. Incredibly annoying. I don't get loud sight sometimes. I'm guessing the door is blocking, stopping me from being able to see him, but it's stupid. I hate flying enemies. It's probably the wor worst part of this. Oh well, they can't actually flank me, so I've got that. Not without moving up to me. Okay, you have no ammo, so let's move you out of the way. Sniper can move up. I suspect the seeker that can see me is the left one, not the right one, so I should be able to move up to this position here. Yep, um, you can take a shot now, you have no rockets, just go ahead, take a shot. This is utterly, this is utterly stupid. Come on Twitchy, good. Okay, what to do about the last one? Honestly, nothing. I can't do anything about him. And that's how frustrating this is. I feel trapped. And stealth mode. Lovely. Okay, what I can do though is start moving towards the right. Rescue these last three civilians. I'm not sure. Okay, this is the last civilian. So move towards the right and get ready to engage with them. And can actually move the door from this position, that's good. Move one over. Um, let's move you. Let's keep you here. Try Isaac, can move over here. Okay, hello. Good. Okay. Let's finally move forward and rescue civilians. It's gonna be a record of some kind, rescuing three civilians in one uh, move like that. Anyway, Manto, let's move you up. And now, I'm pretty sure I've been in the last pod. Um. What I'll probably do now is basically move towards a civilian using the tanks to conceal myself and try to get a nice close range fight with all my shotguns. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's do this. You weren't meant to open that door, Manto. Okay, that's annoying. Oh well. Changing runner. Move over here. Chuchi can move over. And boss man, move to a door. I think they move towards my left now. Oh well, other way. Move here. I can rescue us a bit next turn. I suspect they're on my left, so let's actually move everyone back towards the left again. Hopefully we can get a nice audio cue soon, and we can use that to our advantage. Okay. 
Well, they sort of did move to towards my left, I suppose. Sort of. <laughs> okay, let's risk a civilian. Okay. Safe. I've got to start dashing people towards the tank. Roger that. Okay, so far so good. Let's move you towards the tank. Let's just keep the infantry and um, infantry and sniper here for now. Okay, Dimmin, Dimmin, who can see you? Okay, it's a pretty long range fight. Um, not sure I want to do this. Just man, all out by himself. Can I really get good support here? Not really. I would much rather them come towards me. There's no civilians left. There's no reason for me to go out and chase them around. So... I think I could retreat here. Retreat them, take this cover, which is easy destructible. Understood, sir. And... Go from there. I could go from far flanks here. The only problem is... Um, they can easily flank me in return. Like I said earlier, these tanks are really awkward to fight around. So if I take, um, if I stand here, for example, they can flank me towards the left. If I stand here, they can flank me towards the right. Hmm. I don't want to dash you up here because you have you just been full cover with no smoke, no nothing. There was uncontrolled aliens. I don't like the idea of that. Um. Let's put a medic out here. A uh, hunk of the medic. Let's move you back and reload you. Let's move the gunner up. And a trick and dash here. And sniper. Dash over here. Okay, Manto, Hunker. Garbage, Hunker. Okay, let them come to me. Okay, we have one overwatch. I can blow up his cover. This is easy easily flankable towards the... Hmm. Except what about a sectoid? Okay, I can move garbage back trees out of the way, maybe? Okay, I can flank the sectoid from the left. Which all that leaves is this right them in. Uh, them in. So if... Try it, it goes here. And flank you like. Let's make sure that them in stairs first before doing this. So you get out of the way. Marcando. And Manto, let's blow up his cover. You have Sapper, this should be enough to blow up his cover. Rest in pieces. Good. Now, who should take the shot here? Pretty. Why can't you see him? I have no idea sometimes, I swear. That's flank, that's flank. Why can't you see anything? Okay, I'm no scared of using Twitchy here. Maybe here's an idea what I can do is... Yes, you up. I could take a shot, but I think what I can do is instead is suppress. How far away is that sectoid? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is up to here. Which means if I suppress you... Twitchy can scurry around out of sight. 17 was like up to here, right? So I can say move to here. Good, no overwatch. And I can't see the Thinman. Lovely. But at least he's not overwatching anymore. So, let's move you here. I. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think that sector can blank me, so let's move you here. Moving out. Good. He's down. The. Targeting module, doing some good. 
I would like to flashbang the sec toy, but I can't. And you can't dash that far. Unfortunate. Okay, boost boss man, just dash you over here. So you can should be useful. <coughs> Sorry, uh, changing runner, dash you up here. And you just stay here. And this is Overwatch. When he moves, he's still hard targeted. If the gunner misses, okay, the gunner doesn't miss. That's fine by me too. You're taking a shot. Nope. No, no, I wanna go home. Come on, I love Nox, you're an officer. Uh, you're an officer. You are an officer of the XCOM army. Mm. Okay, what I can do is move up, flashbang him. This should be in flashbang range. Barely, which is good. And next turn I can work on flanking him. Again, I'm pretty sure it's the last part of the map, so these moves should be safe. And Shaiza, let's move you here. Already there. Basically, if I can't flashbang him, he could easily just flank me. I can look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, easy flank. Cool. Interesting, look at this. This tank here. It's like leaking plasma or something. I had that or plasma managed to hit the bottom of it. But I swear it looks like leaking plasma. I had that or was leaking oil, and the oil somehow merged with the plasma to become this weird black, green, glowy substance. I don't know. I don't know I don't know what I'm saying. Twitchy, just a steady weapon I guess. You're not really doing anything useful right now. And let's move Manto over here. Moving out. To the cover operative box. I say he's pretty wired up right about now. He could be on Overwatch though. Um, that was a pretty short move. Do I have any more flashbangs? Nope. Well, let's see if let's have a look. Let's have a peek. Yep, he's on Overwatch. Why am I not surprised? Oh well, I bet he never saw this coming. Heading to that location. Hello. Bye, low sectoid. No longer a commander. Flash. The operation was a success. Ten of eighteen isn't actually too bad. I see that was a pretty good mission. Let's go home. Bit of an awkward start, but overall, what's too bad? Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Look at those promotions. Okay, who do we have here? Assault. I think I gave a discussion last time, so aggression. Twitchy. Um disabling. It's too good to not have. Changeling, congratulations, you're my second corporal rocketeer. Garbage back trees, you're my second corporal medic. And you got five minutes under your belt. When the side lab is built, you'll be ready for it. Smoke and mirrors. It's funny here, revive actually gives you two will. But if you take revive here, then it's really questionable why you bring a medic. Um, I think I've talked, I don't, actually no, I haven't talked about this before, have I? Okay, let me actually give, give a quick rundown of this. So, rapid reaction. Rapid reaction is great if you go, I don't know, ready for anything, opportunist, lock and load. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not the ready for anything part, I don't know. The point is, it's kind of like a cool idea, maybe? But at the same time, I don't really bring my... Like, I got infantry for Overwatch. I got infantry for Overwatch, and more importantly, I need someone to bring some port grenades. I need... And if I'm gonna make my medic sigh, I need 
someone to be able to buff their will and engineers can't get combat drugs, only medics can. So they're the only ones who can use combat drugs and with smoke grenade I can smoke myself with combat drugs or basically drug myself and then use a psychic ability without using a second soldier. That's pretty powerful. Smoke and mirrors means I can do that twice in the mission if I bring extra smoke grenades and even more often. Also, bombard, I can use this with other support grenades. Revive, I, th I think is a horribly weak option, which is kind of ironic considering it, it does give me a will buff, but I just think it's it's really weak. If you can revive someone, it means the situation's gone pretty badly. And if the situation's gone pretty badly, that pretty much means you're probably not in a good position to revive that person. Um, even more importantly, even if you do revive that person, um, with the situation being poor, chances are that person's gonna die again because the situation's still pretty bad. I don't know, the way I see a revive is like, the only place I can see revive being good is on, like, let's say, a base assault, and you lose someone in the first couple of rooms, in the first couple of battles. Um, yeah, sure, that could be a good place. I just don't think this is a good perk. It's a horrible. It's a very situational perk, which comes in handy maybe once in I don't know, 50 missions. Just not good enough for me. Smoke and Mirrors comes in handy almost every single mission, almost. Rap reaction is great if you go Overwatch. I don't go Overwatch my medics. I want to go smoke grenades. I like my smoke grenade medics. I like my support grenade medics. I guess the discussion probably wasn't particularly um, concise, but that's kind of my take on it. You need someone to bring your smoke grenades. You need someone to bring your combat drugs. You need someone to bring your support grenades. Welcome, Mirrors. Um, I think that's it. Some nice little loot. Some panic. Remember, how bad is it? Watching. Hmm. South Africa's a goner, isn't it? Nothing can do about it. It is interesting. We haven't looked at this recently. Do level three resources. Seventy-six research. One sixty-five resources. Sure, fascinating. South Africa is missing the pants. Okay. Nothing else we can do about that. Let's just keep going on. I need to get powers built soon before the end of the month. And you can repair base up soon. And we've got any weaponry happening in two days. That's good. Um. Contact detected. Mm. A raider. I do have three avalanches. I should be able to scare it away. If I get lucky, I might even try to shoot it down. Unlikely, but it could happen. Um, Skull Frost. It's kind of unfortunate how many mediums I've been getting this month. Enemy and the previous off. month. Okay, one hit. Two hits. Okay, three hits. He's bugging out. I could actually try to shoot it down. If I can get lucky again, Contact get another three hits in. That's a dead raider. Okay, caboose. Get lucky? I don't know. Might be worth a try. We have eyes on the base. I have six I have eight inceptors in rotation. Not good. Wow. What is Okay, no. Okay, no, we're not going for this. We're scaring it off. We've scared it off. Um, I do have the one coming back in four days. I don't know. Contact I'm tempted to try to get this. Okay, you know what? We have another inter interceptor coming back in four days. Let's try it one more. Panda? I want to try bag a medium. I want to trade some more troops up. On. No, 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 no. Okay, one hit. Excellent. Our first crashed medium. That's our first crashed medium. That's that's great. Um, first crashed medium. First crashed medium. What can we take here? We actually don't have many high-level troops available at all. We do have forty-eight hours response, though. I mean, is it thirty-six hours or forty-eight hours? Thirty-six hours. Six hours for Edon. 
No, I got other gunners I can take. It's not too big of a deal. I can tr wait for bad UU, but it's, it's a crash site. How bad can it be, right? Hope we can get a few captures. Where's my engineer? I was hoping to level up last time. Manto. You're like one mission away. And we, this is May. We're still waiting for the Exalted Strike. Hmm. Okay. You know what? That's my problem. So, let me save a squad for this and I'll get back to you. Okay, so, um, this will be a score I'll be taking, for one thing, it's still, it's, it's still a crash site, I mean sure it's a crash medium, but it's still a crash site, so, I'm taking a rookie, uh, health reader, second, I'm taking a lot of low ranking people here, mostly lung corporal and spe uh, specialists, um, the reason I'm taking them, I kind of need them to no longer be specialists, I need them to be ranked up, um, especially marksman here, was only a specialist gunner, I really need Marksman to not be a special scanner. I need her to become a uh, corporal soon. In fact, I was thinking about taking more multiple gunners on this mission, but at the same time, I also need my medics to be trained up. So I can't just not take a medic. I need them to get five missions each. I need them to get, to get them up to sergeant and cor corporal and sergeant. Um, I just cannot take them. Everyone else, Rocketeer is basically deal with flying enemies, um, particularly seekers, floaters, and the like. Um, infantry, well, it's just general shooting, scout, running overwatches. Basically, it's a pretty normal squad loadout that you probably see from me, with the exception of obviously the rookie, who wouldn't be here, except our new trained rookies up. It's a really low ranking squad, but at the same time, like I said, it's a medium crash side. They're usually not too bad at this point in the game, they can get pretty bad later on, but at this point in the game, as long as I don't be too aggressive, um, I should come out fine. Anyway, um, let's go down there. I think it's enough of me talking, so yeah, let's go. Prepare for deployment, strike one. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. The alien craft went down in flames. We've pinpointed its final resting place in a rural area with no significant civilian population. We need to secure that craft and eliminate any survivors. Uh-huh. Operation Falling Hawk. I guess it's appropriate. But anyway, that's for next time. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. If you did, please leave any thoughts or comments down below. And I'll see you next time for Operation Falling